What is going on, everybody? Depraved Slasher, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. And trying not to put a gag in my girlfriend's mouth. That sounds like a good time. I don't know why he wouldn't... I'm blaming her for having... Well, I'm blaming her best friend for having Lady Yeah, it's not my, my fault. <laughs> she <sighs> sent me a meeting your best friend for the first time via TikTok, which, by the way, I don't have TikTok, y'all. There's very, do very, very little use for it that I see. Although, the uh, sign language for funny swear words, I am appreciating from her. But it was set to Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. So now we have the... Rama, oh mama, Gaga, oh la la. Want your bad romance? Stuck in our heads. Heather, I hate you. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> so today it's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. She is super excited about this. <laughs> I am in my party dress, and we are reacting to Melanie Martinez's pity party. Pity party. So On my birthday. Fun fact: This has been the next song on the Crybaby album that we've been having to do for about two months now. No, it's been less time than that has it not no because we only do about one Melanie Martinez song a week okay and we've had about five singles that were, that were yeah okay unreleased songs plus new new songs okay I promise you guys it was not planned out this way we've actually been trying to get to this much much sooner right it just happens to work out that now that we're getting to it it's on her birthday so. right and this is a review um Yes. We were asked to cover the Crybaby album, which we have been doing in order. Yes, other than Mad Hatter that we kind of jumped out of order to do. Because it's my favorite. My favorite's coming up soon. Nice. Miss Potato Head. But um, I took a quiz, like, I don't know, five years ago now, that was saying, based on your quiz results, what is the song that should be your theme song? And... This was it. How many different artists and how many different songs were involved in that? Fuck if I know. Hmm. Please tell me we were That's two a minutes lot. in. I, I have no idea. Two and a half minutes, actually. So, um, well, good on me. But yeah, um, this this was the song. So, you know, hey, we're here. <clears throat> so regardless, we're super stoked for this. Um, again, this is a review, but please know we are reviewing this in hopes that you have already seen the video. Right. If you've not seen the video in its entirety, please go click the link in the description below. Go over there and watch it come back because we will probably pause and talk about things because that's what we do here. We're right. a... Breakdown channel. Breakdown and reaction channel. Reacting is not listening to an entire song and being like, oh, that's good. Right. No, that's not reacting. No. And it's boring as hell. Plus, um, for most of the Crybaby album, we have heard it have not seen the music videos. Yes. So that part is a reaction. And she tends to have... Not for me, I've seen this one. Screwy music videos. She does. Yes. Yes. This so. was actually the only video I've seen off the album. Okay. Um, well, no, because I've seen Miss Potato Head as well and Dollhouse. Okay. I lied. I've seen like three videos off the album up until we started reacting to them. Okay. Uh, I don't know that I've actually seen this one. Mm. So, I'm excited. Alrighty, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to slash up and break down. This is Melanie Martinez. Pity party. Happy birthday. Let's Thank get you. it. Thank you. I now want fresh beat. baked cookies. I love this beat. Me too. I could care less about the cookies. I couldn't. <laughs> Did my invitations disappear? What I put my heart on every cursive letter. Tell me why the hell no one is here. Tell me what to do to make it all feel better. Maybe it's a cool joke on me. Whatever. Whatever. Just means there's 
Has she got ghosties? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. That's um, normal for her. So, I mean, musically, the song. I love again, it. Again, taking place in the order of videos that have come out. Um, after having the bad relationship right. that she was in, she's now having a birthday party. Soap and then training wheels and then nobody shows. And she sent out all her invitations. Nobody's shown up. So she's having to have a party by herself. And I, I love the song because it's her trying to think positively about right. it. Right. But then she's like, no, fuck this. I'm burning the fucking place Which, down. I get why the quiz was like, <laughs> this should be your theme song. Like, for me, personally. Because most of the time, I, I do try and rationalize and think the best of people. So I'm like, well, they have this problem or this is going on in their life or, or whatever. I understand. <clears throat> and then the other side of my brain is going, well, fuck them. Well, like... and, and, and that's the problem, too, because, like, you got, like, looking at how she's doing things, I mean, so many of us have been through situations like this where you put everything you can right. into something. Um, so for her, it's like this birthday party. She, and like, she's excited she about went through it. and filled out Hand every wrote. single invitation yeah. and sent them out. She has all the fi fixings for a good party, board game, well, for a kid. Right. Board games and party hats, party hats and garlands, yeah. cookies, like cake, right. and nobody showed up. And, and she's trying to think of it as like, at first she's like, well, that's okay, fuck it. I, that just means More I get to have all me. the cake I want. Right. But then she's starting to understand. She's like, well, and you, you can see the, the downward slope her right. mind goes. She's then, all perky and happy and then... Because then she's like... Well, maybe they're just playing a prank on me. And it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm setting the place on fire. Right. Burn this place down. So I was going to say really quick, uh, with talking about the curse of letters and everything, I graduated from high school early. And so I didn't actually have um, a ceremony. And therefore, my graduation announcement cards... I got stamps and like the embossing type kits, <coughs> went through and made my own graduation cards, hand wrote them in cursive, sent them out to family members mostly. And so we're talking cousins and, and whatnot, uncles, aunts. And I don't have a huge extended family, but um, I got one email back graduating high school a year early with handwritten, handmade cards and one email back. Um, I mean, like, I, I well, and here's the problem, too. This, this is also Crybaby's character in this is obviously still a kid. Right. Um, and of course, as a kid, and for a lot of people, it stays this way as an adult. Not so much. I, I mean, it's definitely less important, but acceptance amongst your peers. Right. Especially as a kid is very important. Right. Um, and, and showing and, up for birthday parties was part of the package. And this is almost like confirmation that none of them really like her. Right. She doesn't have any true friends. Yeah. Um, and I mean, in in a way, not to this extent, I can almost kind of understand the feeling, but at the same time, like, again, I don't really worry so much about it. Like, like we had a conversation earlier about, um, we'll probably have way more people show up for your birthday than when I did my live stream for my birthday. Now, still, I was a very small channel. Right. Um, I was probably only about 1,200, but I think I had a total of five people show up for that entire stream. Right. Um, and even then, a lot of them, Ren stuck around for a while, um, but a lot of them didn't, and by the time... I quit streaming, which I only streamed for like three hours that day. Mm -hmm. um, by the three hour mark, I was down to just like one person in my chat. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream and right. I'm done. And Right. Because I wasn't going to sit there and entertain myself. Right. If I'm well, going to do that, I'm going to play video games. To, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to do. It's my birthday. Um, well, and then our stream tomorrow, it doesn't really matter because you're there. Right. So we'll have a good time anyway. But exactly. Or I guess today. But, I, I mean, like, I get it because the graduation thing, like I said, I, I didn't really send them out to friends because I've always had a very, very small circle. Very. So that wasn't the thing, but it was to family. And honestly, all I was looking for were, like, cards back. 
just kind of like acknowledgement that I was graduating because I was proud of the fact that I was graduating early, so on and so forth. And of course, like I said, I, I made these cards. Right. And um, to just get an email in return that was just a congratulations, nothing more. And nobody else responded, period, <coughs> was kind of shitty. Shitty. Especially from family, you know. So, um, I, I, I get it. I haven't really had that many birthday parties per se. Like my mom and dad weren't big on this kind of birthday party. Like it was always a family dinner. So it was my sister, normally my dad's mom, but uh, not birthday parties. So, never had this experience. Right. And, dance moves <laughs> and, and now at the beginning of this verse she's trying to justify right. like maybe if i would have done something different like right. maybe if i'd have done this or told them that or if i knew them well right yeah um and i know i mean obviously she's gonna go back into well i mean then she tries to reflip it and then be like well it's still more cake for me right whatever and now she's about to burn it down yep. and it's yep. it's a huge internal struggle especially for kids like I said, I mean, I occasionally still go through the same thing. Not not for something like a birthday party, but, you know, other events in life where you're like, well, they acted that way because of this. And then you're like, you know what? They're an adult. Fuck it. Right. So, I get it. Although, the mantle is creepy as all hell. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> And another thing I really like about this too, it, it being pity party, mm -hmm. and her saying "I'll I'll cry until this pity party's in yeah. flames," is how many times well, I know. I mean, I heard it a lot as a kid, um, where if I'm throwing a tantrum, mm -hmm. or if I was throwing a tantrum, I don't really throw tantrums as an adult anymore, unless it's playful. Right. Um, but as a kid, you would throw a tantrum, your parents would look at you and be like, "Oh, this is a pity party." Pity party. Yeah. I've heard that. I mean, I wasn't much of a tantrum thrower, but like... Every town has an Elm Street. Well then. Thank you for thank the Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I've definitely heard it. Um, but it, it's one of those things where it's like, she's like, I know this is a pity party, and I still don't give a fuck. Right. Like, I'm going to throw my tantrum. She acknowledges it. I got to let it stop burn me. out. Yeah. Mm. Got to get all of that negative emotion out, and once it's burned... To the ground then we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes from there
And now the house is on fire. The house is on fire. Which, tragically, that she's house having a is cigarette. gorgeous. Right? <laughs> that seemed to, like, come off the cake. Like, is it one of those sugar? I'm not so, sure. I mean, like, I, she's underage, right? No. <laughs> yeah, she is just... She's so cute. And she's so expressive. And she's stabby. And I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> like, I really well, appreciate that. one, again, and I've said this before, Melanie Martinez is the type of chick I would actually like to hang out with. Oh, she... Does. I don't think she's, she's ever the fun. type of chick I would ever date. Right. It's weird that I would friend zone a celebrity. Um... Yeah, no, I could see it. Not dating, but yeah, friend wise. But I mean, she seems really cool. Yeah, um, I agree. And she'd probably be honestly a lot of fun to hang out with. So to think that nobody would show up to her party is some bullshit. But hi, right. right. Aside from that, and, and again, Zachary. what I like most <clears throat> about Melanie's music, again, I don't know if she writes everything she does, or if she has somebody help her write everything, or what. Um, I mean, regardless, though, her music is really good at conveying a message for what someone in the age group that she's portraying right. to be in can go through. And well, and even then, as adults, because you, even then, it's a lot of them still have an yeah. underlying message for adults as well. A lot of them are, yeah, it's it's still applicable. Um, like a lot of Crybaby's album is like a message to adults on what kids have to deal with, right? When your parents suck, right? Exactly. <laughs> Well, and you can still relate it to aspects <clears throat> of adult life, like I did with the right. high school graduation, and still even today feeling that kind of left brain, right brain argument when somebody does something towards you. And it's like, do I accept their behavior or right. fuck them? You know, and sometimes <clears throat> they do something like this that's just like, well, I have to believe how you treat me. And you didn't show. And that tells me how you actually feel about me. Right. But I do appreciate that, you know, she's popping balloons with a butcher knife. I, yes, yes. And after being royally fucked at her birthday party, she took a smoke break. I, I actually really like, I don't know if you remember seeing the photo. I'm pretty sure I've shown it to you. Or if not, I'm sure you've seen it somewhere else. It's the image of all the knives stuck in the wall of a stairwell and it spells out I'm happy. Right. It's like, I love that because that is like so true. But I, I, I agree with it's you. Like, yeah, she, she's like, keep asking. Just keep asking. Um, she's a dark pop princess. And honestly, from um, most of the interactions I've seen her have with her fan base, she's a very humble, sweet person. Um, who obviously has this kind of crazy psychotic side to her, which is, if she were my friend, the side that I would nurture. Because I happen to think that kind of stuff is hysterical. You know. You would be the friend that would be like, oh yes, dad thinks. Oh, I'm a shitstigator. I know it. Now, will I participate? Probably. From the sidelines. No, no, I, <laughs> I am definitely the shitstigator and the cheerleader. But like... You know, you find the friend that you know is going to jump off the roof into the pool anyway. I'm the person that cheers them on. Am I stupid enough to do that? Hell no. Hell no. Now, see, I'm the exact... I won't say exact opposite. I, I, I am not the type of person to try and talk somebody down. But I am the type of person to be like, look, what you're about to do is stupid. I'm not going to try and stop you, but just know I don't support it. And if something happens, I hope you can find a way to get to where you need to be, because I'm not taking you to the hospital. Well, I mean, okay, it is going to depend, because if it is actually seriously dangerous, then yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be like, yeah, you might want to rethink that. Uh, I'm not going to try and get someone seriously hurt. I don't think that that's particularly funny. That's not my kind of humor. However... You know, there are just some things that you have to be like, yeah, you can do that. Go on. Go on, sweetie. Let me see you dance. And then you stand on the sideline going, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we loved it. Good yeah. birthday song. Again, I've already liked the. We already liked the song. This yeah. is the first time actually seeing the video. I swear I felt like I remember there being more of the entire house being on fire in the video. Like I was sitting here I feel waiting like there the entire. Been 
I was waiting here the entire time going, how Shouldn't come things aren't on fire yet? I didn't remember that it was only like the last few seconds of the video. I, I legit thought it was at least like the last minute of the video. but I, I could have seen that too. Like, I mean, like, she could have done that and it would have fit just as well. Like, second verse hit, already burning. But yeah, I thought it was going to start burning when she stabbed the cake with the two large candles. That's when I thought things were going to, it was going to go down. Going down, the down, house. down in the a house burning is on ring fire. of fire. And it burns, burns, <laughs> We burns. don't need no water. Let the mother fire burn. Anyways, guys, <laughs> if you guys like the video, slap that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below what did you think of Melanie Martinez's bitty party. Also, be sure to comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for the Facebook, Instagram, all the things. Twitter. Push our buttons. Come subscribe. Talk to us. Wish her a happy birthday. Unless you don't want to. I mean, right. It's, on you. it's up to you. And if you're reviewing this the day that it drops on Wednesday, July 29th, then come on over to our live stream, which should be between 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard. Yeah. All right, guys. We love you. That is going to do it. We love you guys. Thank you all for watching, and we cannot wait to see you to pray people later. Peace. <laughs>